Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So, um, we've woken up a little bit later than we planned to but it's fine. I'm glad I had a good night's sleep because it's made me feel so much better. I feel a lot healthier than yesterday. I felt so ill. But, because I'm feeling a little bit better, um, Aiden's just taken some photos for me in the lounge for my blog post that's supposed to be going up tonight. And I was supposed to take them a couple days ago but like I said I was ill so I just didn't really feel in the mood for me to like have photos of me. Um, I'm j Aiden's just taking some photos for me, I'm just doing the rest of my makeup so I can do the rest of the photos. It's, it's kind of like a mixed pose but it's a beauty one. This will be up by the time. So this, I think I'm, it's going to be something it's going to be along the lines of like five beauty products I always use in winter or something like that. It's going to be a little bit of like perfumes, like makeup and skincare. Um, and actually like a beauty tool as well. So it's a little bit of everything in there. Um, currently, just about to do my makeup, Aiden's making like a bulk load of pasta. Um, I opened my sauce the other day and I have completely forgot like I'm going in a couple days. So he's just using the rest of my sauce so we can freeze the pasta. So I have loads of pasta to come back to when, um, when I come back in January. So I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and then I'll catch up with you once we've taken my photos and stuff. I obviously don't want to show you um, Aiden taking photos of me because they're going to be on my blog so if you do want to see the blog post I'll link it down below. Right so I've just done my makeup and sorted everything out. I'm just about to write my blog post Um, I still need to go in and do some more photos but Aiden's still cooking so I'm going to leave him to it. I'm going to get on with my blog post because it needs to be up tonight. Um, a bit stressed but I'll, I'll get it done in time. No, doesn't matter. Um, I just wanted to have a little quick chat before I start that um, about this program that was on I think last year or maybe earlier on this year I can't remember but Hattie told me about it and said that I'd love it it's called 13 and it's about a girl it's not based on a true story but there's obviously like similar stories kind of reminds me of one that I've done on my um, main channel I did like I do like crime videos on my cha main channel I've only done two I started them and then I like started uni so I started my crime videos and then I came to uni so I had so much uni content to get out that I haven't had time to like sit and research a good crime see, um, a good crime like murder mystery or something but I'm going to bring them back in January so I hope people will really like that because they did very well and a lot of people did um like them sort of videos so I'm bringing them back but anyway because I like all that sort of stuff Hattie recommended me to watch 13 and me and Aiden have watched three and a half episodes I think and there's only five in the season so if you don't like really long seasons then this might be for you and if you're into like crime and like mystery and stuff like that or thriller stuff then you'll probably like it we absolutely love it so much um so far there's so many like different twists and different parts of the story that like become revealed I don't know I really really like it so I definitely recommend watching 13 if you haven't already and let me know if you do end up watching it and comment down below if you do or in one of my future videos if you do end up watching it because I really would love to know your thoughts and if you did like it as well um, I hope it's a good recommendation. Thank Hattie for this because I would never have known it existed. So yeah, thanks Hattie if you're watching this. Right, so I've just got ready. We're just about to leave. Aiden's just having something to eat. I finished my blog post so I'm feeling very like less stressed now. Um, and I'm wearing what I wore I think in my university like morning routine that I did in a collaboration with Anomalous Chloe. Um, so I'm wearing this jumper, it's from Primer. And then my dungaree is from The Vintage Scene which is a shop in Leicester. I think it's like an own like an individual store but it's like amazing um yeah we're just about to leave we're gonna go into town we're gonna have a little look around um i think aiden needs to get some gifts for his parents still for christmas because he's not as organized as me i'm really excited though because i feel so much better today like I, I can actually go out the house and do things i'm hoping we can go up to the cathedral a little bit later on when it gets darker because i really want to go up there and with aiden now that it's less busy and obviously the christmas market isn't there because it was just insane yeah i think we've got a, a few other things that we want to do so i'll take you along with us and hopefully today's vlog will be a lot better than yesterday today <laughs> oh yeah we need to go down there anyway um so me and Aiden are currently walking up steep hill we've been going in lots of like charity shops and like individual um independence stores as we've been coming up bought a couple of things in a vintage shop because I just couldn't leave them there was actually an adidas shop for five pounds and it was so nice wasn't it right we're walking up to the cathedral I kind of want to go up there when it's a bit darker but we might as well just go up now because I really want to come back and go into the sweet shop we went to the other day and show Aiden because it's so nice in there I want to go up and Hopefully the Christmas tree should still be up even though it's not the Christmas market. I'm pretty sure we're outside the cathedral so we're just heading up now and I'm going to stop vlogging because I'm not going to be able to breathe in a minute. <laughs> Since we've no place to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow
Lane and I've been walking around for a while in town, just had a look in Tiger, that sweet shop that I was talking about earlier. Um, and now we went and quickly got a hot chocolate from the TP bar because they are so good in there. Like literally, they're so much better than like Costa and Starbucks. So if you have a Thor's near you, because I've seen like in people in Manchester, some people at um, Manchester Uni and I'm pretty sure, is it Birmingham or is it Bristol? There's like Thor's TP bars everywhere, like at Christmas, like for a whole month in December. So if you have a Thor's near you, go and get the hot chocolates because they're three pounds. They're probably even cheaper than like Costa and Starbucks and they taste so much better. But yeah, we're just heading home now because I need to pack my clothes. It's about five o'clock and my parents are going to be here in like three hours. So we need to go quickly and pack all my stuff, the rest of my stuff up. Okay, I don't really know where this is from, um, but this is the first jumper. First jumper? The only jumper that I bought today. Um, it's like a weird off-white, like kind of like, it's like a gross jumper, but it's nice. If you know what I mean? I can't explain. Like me and Megan always say this. We say like we really like gross jumpers. Anyway, it's like a really off-white, like cream beigey colour and it has like loads of random like coloured dots throughout it um I think it looks it's like really cosy and just like really oversized it's an extra large and I, I don't know I just really like it I think it will look really cute under my dungarees I've been wearing my dungarees today let me see if I can these up yeah it looks really nice I like it with the denim I really like how it looks do little twirl do little twirl look book that's it and this is the other thing that I got today from the vintage shop. What was it called? I'm not really sure what it was called, but it's like if you live in Lincoln, where the Tesco Express is, it towards up, up towards Steep Hill. It's like off one of the side streets. And it's this vintage shop. Me and Aiden always like going to vintage shops or like charity shops just to see if there's anything like nice in there. Um, and there's like brand stuff in this vintage shop. And this was five pounds. This is like a green that I never usually go for. I don't think I have anything this colour at all. Um, but I don't know, I quite like it with my hair and obviously I wouldn't wear it with these dungarees. I'd probably wear it with like some black jeans or even white jeans. But yeah, I just really like it. I think it, I thought it was really nice and something a bit different. Probably said that wrong. Adidas. Hi, this is my Adidas original. <laughs> My mum and dad have just arrived in the car park, so I'm gonna go greet them at the door. I'm so excited. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you tired? Dad! Yay! You're interested. Oh, <laughs> well, Alright, darling. Yeah. Yeah, I've started to get all my stuff in the corridor so it's easy to bring out. No. I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it because there's just too much stuff. This is all my stuff so far. Okay, I'll oh, go. So far. Have you got rid of anything out of the fridge or anything? That's we've going sorted all that out. Oh, I like your jump top. <laughs> right, so we've just loaded the car. It looks so empty in my room. Like, let me just show you. Oh my god. Everything is gone. It looks so tidy though. Um, but yeah, I'm leaving my room. I'm actually going to miss Lincoln because I love it so much, but it's been weird without my friends. So I'm really excited to go home anyway to see my family and just spend a little time where my meals are cooked by someone else. And yeah, I don't know, like the homey comforts are gonna be really nice over Christmas and I'm, I'm excited to see my family. Can't wait to go see my nan and granddad tomorrow. I'll probably go there. I'm seeing Sophie tomorrow so I'm buzzing. Look out for tomorrow's vlog because Sophie's gonna be in it and she's hilarious, I love her. Let's go home, it's, it's so late, it's literally nine o'clock now. Um, let me just make sure my lights are off. Just make sure I don't need anything. I'm really worried I'm gonna leave something behind. I know I will. I'm trying to turn off all my radiators and all my plugs so there's no risk of anything. Right, let's go. It's locking my door. Let's go. Oh, it's so weird I'm going home for three weeks. Oh my God, so we have just got home. My dad's just gone to drop Aiden at his house so Aiden can grab his car and get some like clean stuff. Aiden's staying around mine tonight. It took us three hours pretty much to get home which is ridiculous because it should only take like just over an hour and a half um, especially when the roads should be clear but the fog was so scary. We were like driving on all the country lanes. We had to divert anyway from the main road because of some sort of accident or closure or whatever. Um, and we had to go down so many country roads and it was pitch black, there was like no lights at all and the fog was just horrific. Like honestly, I thought I was gonna die. It was really scary, um, but 
now we're home safe. I feel so much better. A bit later now. I don't know why I'm being so quiet because my room's downstairs. If you're new here, my room is downstairs so I can actually be a little bit louder. Um, because everyone else is sleeping upstairs. I say everyone else, my brother's literally asleep. <laughs> anyway, I've come back to my room and look at this. I literally have so many like parcels and letters to open. So I thought I'd like end the vlog with me like, opening them all. I'm gonna pop you on the side and we can like open my stuff together. I literally, I can't remember. Some of the things I have actually ordered myself and some of them must be vlogger mail. I'm honestly so confused. Like this company, um, messaged me and wanted to send me one of their send me a book because they know that I liked reading and um, so they've sent me a book to read it's called Ivon I think it's a dystopian novel but I will speak a little bit more about this tomorrow or whenever I read it they've sent me a really nice like personalized note as well along with it saying we really think this book is something special thank you so much for taking part in the Ivon blog tour and um, it tells the story of what could all too easily become the future. Oh my God, yeah, I remember I read about it after they messaged me. It's about a dystopian world where sport runs the world. I'm not really, really like into sport. I used to be. I read about the like, novel and it actually sounds amazing. So I'm really excited to read this. I might try and read this over the Christmas half term in between revision. Um, as long as I don't feel too guilty. If not, then I'll wait a little longer, but I am really excited to read this and I'll let you guys know um, how I feel afterwards. Let's open this one next. Okay, so this one's in a really big box. Oh my god, okay, I know what this is. I got sent this box and it's a subscription box called Love Drop. And um, I'm gonna open it now. I'm gonna be sharing this on my blog, by the way. Love Drop is a subscription box that is for couples. So it's supposed to like give you some date ideas or like little intimate things. Welcome to your first Love Drop. Thank you for joining us on our journey. Include one luxurious item and then um, several others and they give like little dates and challenges and have like a little magazine alongside it and um, but I'm gonna have a look inside and I will definitely post on my blog soon about it a big parcel here I have an idea of what this might be I entered um this girl's giveaway her name's Ellie Rose on YouTube so I'll leave her um channel down below if you want to check her out but I won her giveaway so she's kindly sent me over already all of the um, things that I won. So I'm so happy, honestly, with everything. But I won so many things. I completely forgot what I had actually won. Um, but inside here, there's a cute Christmas mug. It's literally adorable. Um, and inside it's got like a little hot chocolate. It's got a Revlon Color Stay lipstick. Some more lipsticks in here. A little candy cane. Um, then we also have an Avon body care scrub, then some bath crystals, a, um, a face mask, and then loads of like cute Christmas cards and prints. Oh, these are going to be so cute to put up. I love them. Thank you so much, Ellie, for sending them over. Never win any giveaways, so I'm really happy that I finally received that. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I'm really happy. Yeah, I know what this little pink parcel is and I'm so excited about it. I'm pretty sure this is my little badges that I ordered from Lucy Wood. Lucy Wood is one of my favourite ever um, YouTubers. She's so genuine and down to earth and she's deserved so many more subscribers. But she's just released some like merch that's not exactly merch. And I absolutely love the idea of this because I hate, not hate, but I just don't really like have any interest in buying people's um merchandise when it has their like name plastered over a hoodie or anything i just that's not really my sort of thing that's why i prefer like people who have gone it and done something a little bit different lucy has basically sent her badges so quickly i ordered them like last week maybe and i ordered them to my house rather than lincoln um and i decided to go for these two badges this one has i can't i don't know if you can see it I'm so confused because my focus isn't working, but I'm going to show you these properly tomorrow when I've sorted out what's wrong with my camera. Anyway, the, the badges have average and thunder thighs on. I thought they were just like cute. I'm so excited about this. I bought um, the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, Tarte had like a 25% off and I've never seen them do that deal anywhere. So I was buzzing and decided to get myself a little shape tape. Oh my God, I got a little bauble as well from Ellie. I didn't even see that. It's the secret. Tis the season to sparkle. Oh my god, I love that. That print is going on my uni pin board to try them out so bad. Um, I'm going to do like a tutorial or something or just like a first impressions of loads of makeup over on my channel very soon. I have this. Oh my god. I bought this from ASOS ages ago and I accidentally um, delivered it to my house. To my house, But it's a Tommy Hilfiger top. I'm going to show you this on in tomorrow's vlog. And I actually have some energy. But yeah, I'm excited to show you that. And then I also have some prints that I get from free prints every month. It's an app you can download and you get free prints 
um, like 50 free prints every single month. You just have to pay a delivery um, fee, which is really small. Little bus at the Lincoln Christmas Market. We're drinking mulled wine. There's some of me and Hattie the other night when we went out to the snow rave. YouTube videos that we did with my family. Um, this cute photo that I absolutely love of me, Megan and Hattie, even though I look disgusting, but I just think it's cute. Oh, this is me, David and Sophie. That is so cute. I love my family. Me and Hattie are making scrapbooks in January um, of our whole uni experience and stuff. So we're going to be doing a lot of scrapbooking when we get back, go back to uni in January, um, which I think is going to be very fun. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, sorry, it's a bit all over the place. Obviously, I was travelling a lot of the um, evening. Hit the thumbs up if you did enjoy this vlog. Subscribe down below if you are new and I will see you tomorrow for day 21 of Vlogmas. I can't believe it. Like Time is going too quickly. I don't like it. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow and I'll show you my house. My mum's put all the decorations up in my house and it looks so cute. Night.